Hey y'all, welcome to the workout. We're going to do another metabolic workout today. We have Danny performing the exercises for you. We're gonna start off with a dynamic warm up, starting with run in place for 20 seconds. Let's go. Just running it out, running it out, just getting loose with these. We got about 10 exercises going about 20 seconds each. We wanna focus on transitioning quick through each one, just like we're gonna be doing here. It's getting loose now for about four minutes. Five seconds, we're coming to up downs in place, three, Two, good, we're gonna tap the toes, keep this slight bend on the knees and full extension up in the air. Let's keep it going, quick transition here. Good job. Good job, notice how she's fully extending, keeping her knees slightly bent. Doing awesome here, eight more seconds. We're gonna switch to high knees in place. Five to go, A couple more here. Three, two, let's go to high knees in place. So the only difference from the, this and a run in place is we're kinda leaning our shoulders back Getting a little lean back to really get those knees up, up, up. Good job, staying light on the feet now. Got it, five more seconds. We're gonna kick one leg back. Three, two, let's take a big step back with the right leg. We're gonna stay on the toe in the back. We're gonna do a knee repeater. So we're staying low. We're focusing all the weight on our front heels. Just drive the knee straight in, good. Couple of things here. You wanna keep your inner thigh tight on the front leg. Focusing again, all your weight through the heel, the shoulders are back. Five more seconds, we're gonna switch legs. Three, two, good job. Let's go and switch legs, taking a big step back. Good job. <clears throat> so the big step back helps lock your hips back, belly button's in tight, those shoulders are strong in the back. Good job, 10 more seconds, we're gonna go right back into up downs. You did this one before. Good job, five to go here. Finish it up, finish it up. Three, two, let's tap those toes, big jump in the air. Up downs, y'all, come on. <clears throat> good job, good job. Getting to about the halfway point of the warm up. Getting that heart rate up. We're gonna get it real loose here. Big jump in the air. Keep it going, let's get a couple more in. Five seconds, she's feeling it now, come on. We're gonna go right down to mountain climbers. Three, two, I'm gonna have Danny face the right side. We're gonna get down to hands and toes, mountain climber position. Good, go ahead and right to right, left to left. Good job, let's gonna slow it down just for the couple of seconds here. Slow pace, notice how the back is staying really straight, the core is engaged. Biggest thing is you wanna keep the chest directly over those thumbs. Back will stay really neutral here. Five more seconds, we're gonna go to push up position, you can go ahead and drop to the knees. Three, two, good, push up position, we're dropping to the knees, you're gonna lead with your chest. Good job, you're gonna lead with your chest here. Keep the shoulders back and pushing up. Good. Again, if you can, you wanna start on your toes and then when you feel yourself compensating, and usually the biggest one is you're gonna see your head start to lead, with, lead the movement, and you wanna make sure and keep everything strong, but you can drop to your knees after a few on your toes. Good job, let's go. Five more seconds. We're coming up to squat position. Three, two, let's bring it up. Squat position, go ahead and keep facing that way. So we're gonna do a squat to twist. Keep facing here, we're gonna squat down, come up, twist right to left. Squat down, twist left to right. Good. Notice how she's not rocking her body side to side. She's getting a good squat every time, leading the movement with the hips. Keep the weight through the heels, and we're getting a lot of good stretch in here with the twist. Awesome job, let's get a couple more. Five more seconds, coming to high knees in place, y'all. Here we go, three, two, good job. Let's high knee up. You can finish it off facing this way here. We got two more exercises after this. Let's get them up, let's get them up, let's get them up. Lean it back. Finish up this warm up strong, y'all. Got less than a minute to go. Five more seconds. We got a set of mountain climbers after this. Three, two, let's go to mountain climbers, hands and toes. Come on, last two exercises. 40 more seconds. Good job. Notice how the core staying really engaged. If her butt starts to come up, she's gonna slow her movement down. And if her shoulder starts around, she's gonna readjust to keep that back really straight and strong. Five more seconds. We're bringing it up to plie squat position. Three, Two, good job y'all, let's bring it up. We're going plie squat, so we're rotating the feet out. So that's the only difference in a squat, and we're gonna squat down all the way up, all the way down. Good job. Good. So you can pretty much do anything with your arms here to help that hip movement go back. So she's bringing her arms to the front that helps throw the shoulders back. Let's go eight more seconds. The motion's leading back, all of the weight staying through the heels, keeping her inner thighs really tight, and her core engaged. Last little bit here, three. Two, awesome y'all, warm up's done, take a quick break, circuit number one.
Welcome back, we're gonna do a circuit. Let's grab some dumbbells. We're gonna start in the plie squat position. We're gonna do plie squat to bicep curl for 25 seconds. Let's go ahead and go with it here. So right now we have some, we're gonna curl on the way up. So we're going big squat down, curl on the way up, good. We have a set of eight pounds and a set of five pounds here. We went ahead and started with five. Normally you kind of want to start heavy and then you go lighter as you need to. So heavy for you might be eight, it might be five. Just make sure that you're challenging your muscles as you go through these exercises. So we're only going five more seconds and we're going to drop down to push up position. Y'all three, two, let's drop the weight. So we're going to push up position. We're going to do some reps here for 20 seconds. Here we go. So you can get a good view of the, how the back is staying really straight. So we started on the toes here. So as you go through the movement, if you notice your shoulders rounding or your head jutting forward, again, you want to drop to your knees and finish it off here. We got five more seconds. Danny's getting all of them from her toes. Good job. Here we go. Three, two, let's bring it back up, grabbing those weights. We're going back to the plie squat position. We're switching to a lateral raise. So we're squatting down and raising them out to the side. Good. So we're going to lift as we come up again. The dumbbells are going to come in the middle. You're going to drop down in the middle and go out to the side. Drop down in the middle, out to the side. Lift as we come up, good. It's not necessarily wrong to lift as you go down, but it helps when you keep the dumbbells in the middle as you go down to focus on keeping those hips back. If you get to the point where every time your hips are going back, you can go ahead and try that variation. Here we go, three, two, let's drop the weight. We're going to mountain climbers. Let's go ahead and go slow pace here to focus on the back, good. So we wanna get those shoulders, make sure they're really straight and good. Keep the chest directly over the thumbs. Perfect back here. Really feeling it all the way from the lower to the upper, y'all. Good job. We got eight more seconds. We're gonna do those four exercises one more time and you'll get a break. Here we go. Good, finish it up. Three, two, grabbing those dumbbells. We got plie squat bicep curl again. So we're in a quick transition here, but also go to your pace. Find a good intensity you can keep up. We're doing a bicep curl, so we're squatting down and curl as we come up. There we go. Good. Notice how she's fully extended every time she squats down. The hips are going back just like always. Shoulders big and tall. Awesome job. 10 more seconds. Good, big squat every time, all the way back. Five to go, we're hitting push-ups again. Awesome, three, two, let's drop those weights. Push-up position. Again, start on your toes, start on your knees. Let's go, push-ups, good. Motions leading with the chest. Head staying strong even with the back. Good job, let's rep it out as long as you can. You're halfway, awesome, dropping to the knees here. She's picked up the pace now, last five seconds. Let's get about three or four more in. Awesome job, good job, y'all. Three, two, let's pop it up. We got those uh, plie squat to lateral raise. Big squat down, out to the side. Good job, good job. Notice how the dumbbells again are fully extended. Then she's driving it up, about shoulder width apart, shoulder level, good. Drive those hips back, good job. We got 10 more seconds. Finish it up here, finish it up. We got those mountain climbers, circuit will be done. Last five to go. Good posture, good posture. Three, two, mountain climbers, and last exercise, let's go. Good, let's make sure the body stays over those thumbs. Shoulders are back, good job. Knees are coming straight and feet are staying about shoulder width apart. Good job, notice she had to readjust, that's totally fine, especially if you feel those shoulders rounding. Feel the head jutting forward, last five seconds, finish it up, body stays straight, three, two, awesome job, get a rest. Welcome back. 
hitting another circuit. We're grabbing those dumbbells again. We're gonna start off with an alternating reverse lunge to overhead press. So let's go ahead and get started. So a couple things on this. We're gonna press as we stabilize our reverse lunge here. Good. That's right, you got it. Focusing on driving that front leg through the heel. Again, staying super close to 90 degrees. Inner thighs are tight. So the key with these reverse lunges is once your leg hits at just a normal pace back, all you're doing is dropping your knee straight down. We got five more seconds going down to push-up position. Awesome. Three, two, let's drop the weights. We're gonna rep out push-ups again, leading with that chest. Again, if you can, you're starting on the toes. Drop into the knees when you need to, or you can start on those knees. Just making sure that the movement's starting with the chest. Good. Notice how the back of the head's staying, even with the back. That's what you want to focus on. Ten more seconds. Let's go. Good job, good job. Shoulders back and down, driving through the backs of the hands. Five more seconds, we're bringing it up. Three, two, let's grab those dumbbells. Alternating reverse lunge, we're gonna do a bicep curl instead of a press this time. So we're curling, we're dropping down, we're doing a curl, there we go. Good, full extension every time with the arms. Driving the weight through the front, just like before. Good. So she's curling as she's going back, that's okay, but if you notice that your body's kind of going off balance like she just did, you want a stabilized position before you curl again. There we go, just five more seconds, get one or two on each side, one on each side, here we go, three, two, good job, let's drop down, mountain climber position, hitting mountain climbers for 20 seconds, and we're going to go through those exercises one more time. Good job. So notice a little rounding here on the back. We're gonna drive those shoulders up. Good job keeping the belly button in really strong. The chest is directly over those thumbs. Body's really straight. The straighter you keep the body, the more you're gonna elongate, lengthen out, hit the right muscles in the middle. Five more seconds, bringing it up. Three, two, awesome y'all. Let's pop it up. We got those four exercises again, starting with the alternate reverse lunge to overhead press. Good job, stabilize, full extension press. Good. Back knees hitting the ground, dropping straight down, back toes hitting the ground, knees dropping straight to the ground. Good. Big press. So notice she's stabilizing before she's lifting the weights because once you get weights over your head, you're going to find more instability. So you want to make sure you get a strong base in the middle, keeping the core really tight. Five more seconds, push up position. Three, two, good job. Last one there, push up position. Let's rep it out. Good, we can start on the knees, there we go. Lead with that chest, stay strong in the middle. Good job, her eyes were up there for a second, getting a good focal point. Helping to keep her body long and lean, taking that chest forward, good job. Eight more seconds. Good, so as you start getting tired, she's going all the way down, doing awesome. You can kind of shorten up your movement. Three, two, let's pop it up. We got the alternate reverse lunge to bicep curl now. Kicking it back and doing a curl. Good job. Stabilizing down, full extension with the arms, getting a good curl. Notice how the posture's staying really upright. Belly's in tight, core's engaged, shoulders are backing down, looking great. 10 more seconds, we got those mountain climbers one more time. Straight down through the front leg, last five seconds. Here we go, finishing on. Three, two, awesome mountain climbers, 20 seconds. Taking a short rest, let's go. Again, you want to really become aware of how your posture is doing with these mountain climbers. Keeping the shoulders up. There we go, back and down. Almost like you're pointing your chest forward. You're getting really strong posture. Good job. Eight more seconds. Great. Just finishing off just like that. Perfect. Last five seconds, y'all. Let's finish it up. If you need to slow down, you can. Keep that posture going. Three, two, awesome. Let's take another rest.
We're back for the last circuit called the burnout circuit, y'all. We're grabbing those dumbbells. We're doing a combination of the exercises we just did. We're starting with a plie squat with a bicep curl. Let's go. So we're curling on the way up. We're gonna full extension as we go down and then hitting a bicep curl, good. Again, remember we're doing that because the dumbbells down will help you drive your hips back, all right? So towards the end of the workout, you wanna really focus on your breathing. With the squat in particular, we're breathing in through the nose as we go down, and then on the exertion, we're taking a big out breath through the mouth. Let's go five more seconds. We're dropping down to push-ups, y'all. Dropping those weights. Three, two, awesome job. Push-up position. Let's go ahead and rep it out. <clears throat> on the push-ups, same style of breathing in through the nose as we go down. As you're pushing through those hands, through those triceps, out breath through the mouth. Awesome. Again, still leading with the chest. As you get tired, you even gotta be more aware of your body compensating. You really wanna focus on that form. Here we go, almost done. Three, two, let's bring it up, grabbing those weights again. Alternating reverse lunge to bicep curl now. So we're dropping down, hitting a bicep curl. <clears throat> when the breathing appears more complicated with the movement like this, all you need to do is slow the breathing down. You'll breathe in through the nose and out breath as you lift. Coming up, breathe in through the nose and out breath as you go down. There we go. 10 more seconds, let's hit it. Good job, y'all. Again, watch, she's curling as she's going down, which is fine. If you start feeling unstable, you slow your pace down. Three, two, dropping the weight, mountain climber position. 20 seconds here. Good job. Chest over those thumbs, body super straight. She's going at a good pace here to be very aware of the form. Keeping the body really good, strong. Eyes are straight down. We got eight more seconds. A few more exercises. Here we go, five to go. Keeping that chest pointed forward. Good adjustment, got it. Three, two, let's bring it up. Going to plie squat to lateral raise now. So we're dropping the weights in the middle again and we're lifting as we come up. Same breathing as like we're doing a curl. In through the nose down, driving it up as we come up, good. Notice how the chest is staying up, posture staying really upright. A lot of times you might notice as you go down, you want to round your shoulders. Be very aware, drive the shoulders back, keeping a really straight posture down. Good job, you want to squat down as low as you can. We got five more seconds, dropping down to push-ups again. Here we go, three, two, dropping the weights, push-up position. Couple more exercises, y'all, you can do this. Hit it, go. Good job, driving with the chest. Good, staying strong in the middle. She's going almost all the way down, which is awesome. If you start noticing that you're getting really tired, you can just shorten up your movement, keeping that same lead with the chest motion. Let's go for five more seconds. We're coming up, we got two more exercises, y'all. Three, two, let's pop it up. We're gonna do alternating reverse lunges with an overhead press. Waiting till we're stabilized down. We're gonna drop down and press as we're out breathing here. In through the nose and press as we're breathing out, good. Once the back leg, back, back foot hits here, the knee's dropping straight to the ground. If you notice and kind of watch yourself on these, you'll notice that almost the entire body on the legs is 90 degrees. 90 degrees to the front, going down, 90 degrees in the back. Finish it up here, y'all. Eight more seconds, one more set of mountain climbers. Good, last five, here we go. Three, two, got it, drop those weights. Mountain climber position, chest over the thumbs, just like before. Driving that right to right, left to left. There we go, good adjustment on that. Notice how she had a slight round on the shoulder, threw her shoulder blades back, big chest, and she came straight. 10 seconds, y'all, come on. Almost there, we got five more to go. We're coming up for a last little burnout. Three, two, awesome. Bringing it up to plie squat position. This is the burnout for the burnout. We're going about a little over 40 seconds here. No weights, we're going plie squat position. We're gonna pulse the squat position now, come on. Last little bit, here's where you really gotta dig deep. We're pulsing down, here we go. Danny's digging deep for y'all, so you gotta do the same. We're staying low, keep the weight through the heels. 10 more seconds, push up position. Come on, last little bit here, five more seconds. Drop it down, drop it down. Three, two, she's ending early here. Let's go down to push up position. So we're gonna go ahead and pulse it on these too. So we're gonna drop down, you're gonna pulse. Just breathe. Keep the tension on there. Good job, leading with the chest. Good job, Fly, it's flying by. Come on, you gotta keep up, keep it going. Eight more seconds, we're doing one more quick round of the plie pulses and push-ups and you're done. Five to go, three, two, let's bring it up, plie squat position. 
Last two things. Come on, work you with that. Work out with the cereal. Come on, keep up. Pulse and plie, pulse and plie again. We're dropping down. There we go. Driving the weight through the heels. Back, back, back. Leading with the hips. Good job. Way down, way down. Let's go one more inch down. Last five seconds. Get a little bit lower. Finishing strong here. Three, two, push up pulses. Done. Come on, y'all. Let's get as low as you can. Finishing off those triceps, finishing off the core here. Take the chest forward, let's get low. Good. Still keeping the head strong. She's got a good focal point about a foot out in front of her. She's halfway done and so are you with this push up pulses, finishing up. Last five seconds y'all, a little bit lower. Let's get lower, let's get lower. Three, two, awesome job y'all. Great workout. It's over. <laughs>